This rapper is only 9 years old and his lyrics are completely hard and not youth free. This is Lil RT, a rapper from the west side of Atlanta. He is currently very viral on the internet and his first song has generated almost 2 million clicks on YouTube in just 4 weeks. And that's simply because he raps about orbs, weapons and women. And that as a 9th year old, that doesn't fit together. And for this reason, the reactions, the comments and the ratings are increasing. In addition, his song was dropped in the same period of time as the song by Adonis, so Drake's son. Therefore, there were quite a few comparisons here because the songs could not be more different. And since Lil RT has an incredible amount of success, at least for a boy who is only 9 years old and has been rapping for a month, I very quickly came up with the idea that this boy is being staged by some people. That he is simply being made to rap what he raps, to go viral, so that clicks and streams are generated and money can be earned. And for this reason I thought, come on, I'll take a closer look at his story and his environment. To be honest, at first I thought he had a ghostwriter, someone in the background who writes his lyrics here. Because bro, how can a 9 year old come up with such topics even if he comes from the hood? I just couldn't explain it to myself, but it seems he really writes his lyrics himself. More precisely, he doesn't write them himself, he freestyles them himself. He completely freestyled his debut single and at the same time his most successful song, 60 Miles. Before the music video, it is even shown how he sits on a staircase and just raps on it. Lil RT also does that in almost every interview. He just freestyles on it and then things are dropped that you don't expect. And that's why the question came to me. How does Lil RT come up with such lyrics? Because normally that's definitely not the case for a nine-year-old. And for this very reason, I took a closer look at where Lil RT actually comes from. In an interview, he claimed that he comes from Bankhead. That's a quarter in Atlanta, which is in Zone 1. For clarification, there are six zones in Atlanta and Zone 1 is supposed to be one of the most dangerous zones. That's why I also took a look at a gang map of Atlanta and according to this map, gangs are spread all over this quarter. On the internet, I also looked for reports of people living in this quarter. I also came across a few reports on Reddit and here people meant that junkies, drug dealers and robbery are part of everyday life. There are also some drive throughs on YouTube through this quarter. And I think if you consider all these points, you can safely say that people who grow up in this quarter don't have it easy. And for this reason, I also believe that Lil RT really comes from a social focal point. He raps about his everyday life. He also claimed that in some interviews, just like people around him, who simply claim that Lil RT raps about what he sees every day. Bro, like he from the hood. He, he ain't seen rainbows and, and, and all this bullshit that everybody be talking about. You feel me? Lil bro see, see real life shit, so he a fast, he a fast young man. In addition, the nine-year-old said that his favorite rapper is Didi Osama. Didi Osama himself is only 16 years old. At the moment, he is one of the most promising rappers of the Bronx drill wave. And in his lyrics, things like murder, women and drugs are also thematized. And due to the mixture of these two circumstances, it is no wonder that a nine-year-old thinks that it is normal to rap about enemies, murder and women. There is always a certain Lil Tony on the side of Lil RT. This is a newcomer from Atlanta who also has very stable numbers for newcomers. In interviews, the two appear as a duo. They have a song together and they are always seen together in Instagram live streams. Lil Tony describes the relationship between the two as brotherly and according to my research the two don't even know each other for a long time. It seems as if Lil Tony is the mentor and Lil RT teaches a lot musically. Yes, according to Lil Tony's statement, he also tries to keep him out of the street. He tries to give him wisdom but it's still weird. I mean there are live streams in which Lil Tony chills with Lil RT. Next to it is a 15 year old who builds a joint and on the table is a magazine of an AK or I don't know which weapon. In any case, it is a magazine. And since it is absolutely not normal that a 9 year old raps about such brutal things, the criticism on the internet is very loud, especially in the comments. But what I find blatant is that there are also a lot of comments that can identify with Lil RT. 
A lot of people say that they grew up just like him and that it is quite normal for them. Lil RT is just someone who managed to get attention and that is unfortunately also the reality. There are thousands of children who grow up in exactly the same circumstances. For them, it is quite normal to see weapons on the table. For them, it is quite normal that the big brother or father kisses in front of them or smokes crack. And in my opinion, that shows that a lot is going wrong in the USA, but that's no secret, that's nothing new. The thing is, I have the feeling that Lil RT is really trying to get something positive out of the music. At the age of nine, he has often emphasized that he wants to buy something with his mother's money, and it seems to be going well. I mean, the only nine-year-old had a club show recently in which the whole audience rapped his lyrics. That must be an incredible feeling, especially at the age of nine. Of course, it's not good that a nine-year-old is in a club. I don't have to tell you that. That's not normal. But yes, where there is success, there are also bloodsuckers. And now I see the biggest danger besides the bad influences. I mean, it's nothing new that young artists are exploited and that in the weirdest ways. There was a Michael Jackson, there was an Usher, there was a Lil Wayne. There were a lot of artists who were treated strangely. I don't think I have to tell you that either. Therefore, it is also very important that a person with a role model function takes Lil RT by the hand and does not let him be fooled by any strange managers. Lil RT already has a music manager. I hope he doesn't fire him because that would be really hardcore. Firing a nine-year-old is actually not possible at all. But hey, you know, the music industry is quite strange. Lil RT is not going to school at the moment either. He is trying to keep up with the music. Lil Tony has already confirmed that the nine-year-old will soon take private lessons from home. And yes, then we would now come to my personal opinion. Personally, I find it incredibly sad that a nine-year-old is confronted with such bad topics. We can really happily appreciate that we live here in Germany. I mean, when I was nine years old, my life's content was football and going out and maybe video games that's it and in some other countries it's not like that today we had the example of america and yes dude that's just sad especially because lil rt is not a one-off as i said he's just one of thousands to be honest i also find it very strange that suddenly a lot of people make a remix to his song for example a doughboy or a rico reckless i don't know promoting a nine-year-old like that is not the right thing in my opinion the thing is, Lil RT wants to help his family with the whole thing. He wants to make money so they can get out of the hood. But whether it is the right way to let a nine-year-old rap such lyrics in public is another question. I personally find that completely rejected. But yes, what do you think of the whole thing? Let me know in the comments. Did you already know Lil RT? And if so, how do you like his music? Do you think the boy has potential? I hope you enjoyed this video. There is not really much information about Lil RT himself. I mean, the boy is still only 9 years old. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a rating. Thank you for watching guys. Take care of yourself. See you next time. Ciao.